Pika Labs has been making waves lately, mostly because of their new video tool. And they added a feature called, well, Encrypt Text, as you saw in the video here, created by Pika Labs and Matan Cohen Groomy. Now it wasn't the original audio, I changed that, copyright and whatnot. What you can do now is you can actually get text inside of Pika Labs videos. So let's go and check that out. Oh, and did you hear? A cheese factory exploded in France. Debris everywhere. Hi everyone, we're happy to introduce our encrypt feature. You can now encrypt a text or an image into your video. And there are a lot of commands for that. And we are actually in Discord now, if you don't recognize it. And we are in, in Peak Labs Discord server. So it's similar to how Midjourney does it. However, this is 100% free for now. So with this in encrypt text, you can actually add some commands to it. Some are going to be automatically added, like the message and the prompt here. Image is optional. The font is also optional. You can change the font and then you can add like uh, how visible your text will be and the size here, how, how big your text will be. So we can just make uh, a test here. It's just join the server and just um, links are going to be in the video description go into any of these generate ones and scroll down here and if you go encrypt text you get a, a box here message and a prompt so we say dad joke and we say prompt city skyline well whatever let's leave it at that and then we can actually if we want to we can do weight two and size let's do 80 i think 100 is default 50 from 100 so running that let's run that a couple of times just to see you can get some good stuff going so we got our first one here it says dad joke it's not much of an animation we're so far away we have our second one here i mean you can see the text but i think the weight is way too high here put it to two same with this one here you can actually see some movement some sort of train here in the background going past so let's try something else let's try to lower the weight here let's do 0.5 and let's try that again now we can see you here with our weight 0 0.5 the words are kind of lost we have a nice panoramic thing going on here so if we try and get it up again let's put it to weight one which is actually the fault i'm gonna try actually camera pan right so we have on here the camera pans to the right the words are a little bit more implemented into the skyline here i think a skyline wasn't probably the best thing this one's uh, kind of okay now there's a lot of stuff you can do and if you go into the faq there's a lot of info and there's actually i think one of the most important ones is, is the camera control so you have like a camera zoom in and all of these commands you just put in in the prompt camera zoom in camera zoom out camera pan and then in direction up down right left you have camera rotate so that's kind of cool and you can also do aspect ratios like um, like in mid journey so say let's change here for example let's say this is fine burning trash heap and we're gonna do uh we're doing camera pan right and we're gonna do an aspect ratio of 9 by 16 so that's a standing format we're gonna push in three of those so we have our videos coming in now we have this is fine we have some burning going on there we have this is fine here again uh, that one didn't work I think the first one was kind of okay-ish, don't you think? Not fantastic, but it works. This was pretty okay. Now, what you can do is actually encrypt image here as well. So if you remember the previous video that we did when we actually took logos and um, put them into images in Stable Fusion, you can do that here as well. So let's take this Apple logo, just drop that in, and let's put in um, trash heap of old computers. And we're just gonna leave it at that. Now we got the results here. And it's not super clear, but if you squint your eyes just like this, you can actually see Apple logo in here, or if you just, you know, go further away from your computer. And actually the same with this one, not as clear, but you can adapt that with 
changing the weight like we did for the text. So this is more of a, you know, illusion kind of thing. You can actually see that it's in there if you look. And if we zoom in on this, it's quite impossible to see. Even if you, you know, squint your eyes, it's very hard to see. So let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, show me your best creations in, in the Discord and join up in this week's uh, weekly challenge, which actually is using these kinds of illusions. Hop on in. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.